my channel. Today I am going to be testing out three products from Shantakai. So let me get into this because this has been a long time coming. If you guys follow my channel, you will know a couple months ago I did a full face of Shantakai products. And in that video, I didn't love like every product. There was, it was kind of a hit and miss. Products that I really, really liked and products maybe not so much. So in that video, in those comment sections, you guys all recommended, many of you guys have said, Tara, you have to try the gel bronzer, the gel uh, blush, and the highlighter. Everybody said it was your favorite product from Shantakai and you wanted to hear my thoughts on it. So recently the brand Look Fantastic sent me a very generous gift card through Magic Link. So Magic Link's kind of hooked me up with Look Fantastic and I was able to kind of pick products that I wanted to buy using that gift card. So when I come across these products from Shantakai, I was like, oh my gosh, those are products I've always wanted to try from Shantakai. So maybe I should buy them and see if the hype behind it is legit. You guys know I'm very, very honest. I'm a brutally honest person here when it comes to reviewing makeup. I also really love cream bronzers and cream blushes and stuff like that. So these are pretty much right up my alley. So of course I jumped on the Look Fantastic website, picked up these products, and we are going to try them on today. I am so excited to share my thoughts with you guys on these. And I also always love your guys' recommendations. So I'm just so curious. I've always been curious about these. So here we are. So here we have the Radiant Gel Bronzer, retails for $44. And it's a liquid gel hybrid bronzer that will enhance any tan, giving skin a radiant beach glow. It's also created in Italy, which is pretty awesome. The weightless and ultra moisturizing formula blends easily, adding a touch of sun to any complexion without the look of makeup. A new polymer provides extraordinary smoothness, natural finish, and luminosity up to 12 hours. The weightless formula can be worn under or over ultra sun protection for your favorite Shantakai foundation. Okay, so the blush is kind of the same thing. The uh, cheek gelée, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It could be gelée, gelée. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, but it actually comes in a few different colors. It looks like they have three different colors. Of course, I, of course I chose the peachy shade, which is lively. These retail for $45 and they are a hydrating liquid gel cream blush that combines the freshness of an emulsion with a lasting power of a stain. Then finally, we have the highlighter. Now I picked this up in the shade Sheen and it is a pearly pink, but it's still a really beautiful shade. So these also retail for $45 and they are a velvety smooth and buildable liquid Le Mer blends effortlessly to leave the skin feeling moisturized and supple. Okay, it's a luxurious lightweight highlighting fluid that instantly illuminates skin while delivering skincare benefits. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video, you guys. I'm kind of excited for it. Let's go ahead and jump into the application of trying on these three products. I will definitely do a wear test, let you guys know how these wear. I'm actually wearing wearing a foundation and a powder and concealer. So I'm kind of doing a wear test for multiple things. So it was a perfect time to kind of pop these in so that I could do that wear test for these products while I'm already doing a wear test. So let's go ahead and jump into the applications and I will see you guys all in my final thoughts. Let's go ahead and jump into these three products from Shantakai. I am very excited about this and I appreciate Look Fantastic for you know, giving me the opportunity to buy them. So first up we have the Radiant Gel Bronzer. So this is the color of it. And I think that's gonna be a good bronzer shade for me. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm gonna use the Refer number 24 brush. I'm just gonna dip into it. It does blend out very easily and it feels like it's kind of like sets down to a point. It stays radiant, but it doesn't feel like it wants to move around. That's a good color for me though, right? And it's really easy to apply. That is a very pretty formula. It really blends into the skin 
and it almost kind of sets down. And so don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm reflecting off these lights a little bit because I need to powder, <laughs> so just bear with me. But I wanted to use all these cream products before I powdered. But let's go in and see if we can build it. I'm really curious about this formula and I'm very impressed with it. I mean, it just really gives the skin a beautiful warmth and very natural, very, very natural. I really like this so far. Um, I might be eating my words on this Shawanta Kawai stuff because I just had so many of you guys say, oh my gosh, you've got to try it. You will love it. You will love it. And so far they were right about the bronzer because this is really, really pretty. So of course now I'm really excited to try the blush. And this is the shade Lively. By the way, I'm testing out a bunch of self tanners. So I'm creating a self tanner video. And there's been a lot of like new self tanners that I've, you know, found recently. So I decided to do a like self tanner review. So I've been testing a bunch of different self tanners and my hands are absolutely ridiculous. And they have been once in a while. Off and on, you've seen them kind of crazy for like the last month. Well, that's why, because I've been testing a lot of self-tanners. So that video is coming soon, what we do for reviews, right? So this is the same packaging as the bronzer, and this is the color Lively. Look how beautiful that shade is. It's so pretty. I am so excited to use it. So I'm just going to go in and grab some here. Okay, this is pretty, you guys. This is really pretty. This is, it feels like it's not going to have a lot of color, but it really does. It really has a lot of color. Um, you don't need a lot, so I would kind of be careful using too much of it because you really don't need that much of it. But this applies really evenly and it ha it kind of has that radiance to the skin. Um, it, this color does uh, in particular. And it reminds me of my favorite liquid um, blush that's from by Terry. Now, I found out that this is a limited edition, which really stinks. If I would have known that, I would have bought like four of these because I absolutely love this liquid blush. And I didn't really know that much about by Terry's brand. And so I actually asked my friend Mel, I'm like, do you know anything about that good blush? And she was like, oh, actually that's a limited edition, blah, blah, blah. So that is a big bummer. I really love this because it's liquid, so easy to apply, dries really beautifully, but it has a gorgeous radiance. It's a radiance that doesn't emphasize texture, which is super, super rare to find. But I can tell you that this from Chantecaille has that radiance and it's very natural. Now, don't get me wrong. It looks a little bit bold right now because I haven't powdered yet, but this looks so beautiful. And I know that once I put a little bit of powder on, it will really kind of, you know, melt it all together and be a little bit more seamless. But I think this shade is absolutely beautiful. And it reminds me of that by Terry, which makes me feel a little bit better about the whole by Terry situation. Just ask Mel. I was so upset when I found out it was limited edition. She was like, I'm sorry. I'm like, oh my God. It was like my life ended that day. Yeah. So there's a story on that. But this is really pretty. It's very fresh and very summery. Those of you that told, told me that I would like this, you were right. Let's move on to the final one that I got here. This is the Liquid Illuminator. So this is a sheer highlighting fluid that can be worn alone or mixed with foundation or skincare, which is interesting. So by the way, they have these little teeny tabs that go down inside. Ooh, this color, ooh, do you see that? Oh yeah, she's blinding. This color reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury, the Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. And Charlotte Tilbury is thicker. This is a very, very thin kind of gel formula. And the Charlotte Tilbury is more of a thicker liquid highlight. So they're not really the same. Like if I pull my hand, well, maybe. They're very similar. The only difference is the one, this color from Chantecaille is got more of a purple silver sheen to it. I don't know how that's going to look on my skin, but we're going to try it. You don't need very much of this, by the way. So I'm just going to put some like right here and then just kind of tap it out. 
it's so blinding, but you can like apply just a little bit and not get a lot of product. That is really pretty. And it kind of just melts into the skin. Like you don't really have to push it into the skin. And I will also say that the products that I've applied as far as the blush and the bronzer, they're dried. They're set down on my skin. This color might not be the best for my skin tone because it has a silver undertone. So you can see the cast. So I'm such a, a like a medium warm golden undertone that anything silver that gets put on my skin kind of looks a little funky. So this shade is a little bit too silvery for me, but I am curious about this formula because it dries and sets down in a very, very beautiful way. Okay, everyone, I wanted to pop outside and show you guys how the bronzer and blush looks on my skin. So it is currently 5.23 in the afternoon. So I've had this on for about five and a half hours, but if I don't film now, it's gonna be dark and you guys won't be able to see what it looks like in natural daylight. So you can see that it looks very natural. Like I didn't add any type of powder bronzer or powder blush or anything over top of this. So this is just the gel formula. You could see with the beauty lights, the highlighter, you could see where it was sitting out on my skin. But in actuality, when I come upstairs and I've been kind of, you know, doing things around the house and I look in the mirror, it actually doesn't look that bad on my skin in daylight, you know, like natural, regular room lighting. Um, it might have just been the beauty lights where you could kind of see where it was sitting, but I really, really like this so far. We'll see how long the bronzer and the blush lasts, but it's still very vi vibrant. I did powder it because I'm actually testing a new powder from Dior. So far, I think this is actually really beautiful. I can see why you guys are hyped up about this liquid bronzer and blush and highlighter. So I just wanted to pop out and show you guys this. So I will see you guys in my 12 hour check-in, which in my 12 hour check-in, I will get into my final thoughts. Okay, everyone, let's jump in to my 12 hour check-in and my final thoughts on these three products from Shantakai. So it is currently 12.03. Now, <laughs> my eyes were so red, like it's midnight. I've been editing for like four hours and I only had five hours of sleep this morning. I'm a little bit delirious. My eyes were so beet red that I was like, there's no way I can go on camera with those red eyes. So fortunately for me, I got some Lumify. This stuff is like the bomb. If you guys don't know anything about this, this like wakes me up in the morning. It takes all the redness out of my eyes and I love it. Anyway, I just put some drops in my eyes to brighten things up because holy crap, you, it would have made you tired looking at me. My eyes were so red. Let's go ahead and jump into my thoughts about these three products. So let's talk about the bronzer first. As you can see, I have maintained the bronzer and it's such a natural gel bronzer formula. What I really was surprised by is that it dries down and you don't really think it's going to because it's such a gel formula. And when you spread it out, you're like, oh, that's very interesting. And then as it really attaches to the skin, it starts to dry, but it gives you time to kind of manipulate it and put it exactly where you want it before it starts to really dry and set up. But for me, it's been set up and locked and loaded. Like I see why you guys really, really like this liquid bronzer. And truthfully, I don't think, I have liquid and cream contours in my collection that I personally love, but I don't have a liquid bronzer. And I'm really, really impressed 
with not only the formula, the color, but the longevity of it. I mean, it's really beautiful and it's very natural. So for those of you that love that very natural, natural makeup look, oh, and it's very easy to apply. And so I think I was a little bit intimidated, like a liquid bronzer. I'm, I'm intimidated by that. Just the thought of it intimidates me but it's so easy to apply and I'm very impressed, I really am. So I'm really glad I listened to your guys' suggestion when it comes to buying this bronzer and the same goes for the blush. I mean, look at this blush, this blush is beautiful. It is such a beautiful shade and I finally found something that's so similar to that By Terry CC Brightening Blush and I love it, I'm so happy. Like I am so happy that I got this, so happy. I've been so bummed about that by Terry uh, CC blush being discontinued. I have searched everywhere and cannot find a bottle of it. I've searched everywhere. I was totally willing to buy it on eBay and I could not find it anywhere. So that's just been a very big bummer for me. And this is just hitting the mark. And I can see myself using these products during the summer. Now, if you have cream blushes, do you need this? Probably not. I'm starting to get a little bit of a collection of cream blushes, so this isn't like fully necessary. However, I feel like this sets down on the skin better than a cream blush, except for the um, LYS. So the LYS has a more matte finish. It's like a satin matte, so it sets down a little bit which these are gorgeous. I'm still in love with those, by the way. Um, but this one has a radiance to it, but it also sets down. So this is a very beautiful formula. I can see why you guys were telling me, Tara, you missed, you totally missed out. You should have bought the cream blush and the cream bronzer. You will die. These are beautiful. And for me, I don't think that these are overpriced. There's a lot of products that I've tried from Chantecaille that are overpriced, but these I don't feel like are overpriced. I think these are actually a pretty decent price for how much you get and the actual quality of the product. It's different from what I have in my collection. So for me, it kind of justifies the splurge to pick them up and enjoy them. Now the liquid highlighter, I actually really like this formula as well. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get the gold color because I do think that this was maybe a little bit too pink silver for my skin. So I might give this to my daughter because I think she'd really love this. And I think I'm going to get the gold one for me. Um, but this is actually, it's the same type of formula. It melts and melts right into the skin. And look, I'm still, I still have a beautiful shine to the skin and it's very natural. And I feel like this um, doesn't emphasize texture as much as like a powder, traditional powder highlight does. So I am very, very interested in this. I think this is really, really beautiful. Shh. Okay, so I, your guys' recommendations are on point. These three products are hands down amazing. I don't have anything negative to say. They're absolutely beautiful. So you guys were right about these products. Uh, so that's it for the review. Thank you so much to... Magic Links and Look Fantastic for sending over the gift card and allowing me to buy these products and share them with you guys. I really appreciate it. Sound that down below in the comment section. Do you guys have these? How are you feeling about them? Do you love them like I do? I'm so curious. So share with us in the comment section down below your thoughts on these three products. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.